What's up guys, I'm Joe from Blue Robotics and today I'm going to be teaching you how to pot the perfect penetrator. What we're going to need is some cable, penetrator, epoxy, mixing tips, epoxy applicator, some acetone prepping wipes, razor blade, syringe, a makeshift jig, and some cotton tip swabs and paper towels in case things get messy. So let's get started. The first step is going to be to prep the cable. For this demonstration, I'm going to be using our 18 gauge three conductor thruster cable. And uh, what you need to do is decide how much of the jacket you'd like stripped off. And you can bend the cable at that point and slowly take the razor blade and etch at the jacket, making sure to not cut too deep and damage your conductors. And you'll feel the jacket separate, exposing the insides. And once you've gone all the way around, you should be able to just pull the jacket right off. <laughs> now that you have your conductors exposed, go ahead and insert them into a penetrator just to make sure the conductors are the proper length that you want. And once that's good, you're ready to move on to the preparation. For this, I'm going to be using our acetone surface preparation wipes to chemically etch the jacket, which will prepare it to bond with the epoxy better. And what you do with these is you rub the jacket until you can tell that it's changed finish a little bit. It might look a bit more dull, less shiny. Once you've done that, you're good to go. So now we're ready to prepare our epoxy. We're going to be using our Wetlink Fixed Tropic Epoxy. And I'm going to start off with just installing it into the applicator. Next, we'll remove the cap and install the mixing tip, which should just twist right on. You can grab a little bit of the paper towel. And you're going to want to purge about one full squeeze worth of epoxy onto your paper towel. What this does is it gets any epoxy that might have been exposed to air or if it was uh, air pockets in here at all, uh, it'll get any of that out and get your epoxy nice and mixed. So once you've purged, we're ready to fill our syringe. I hold it horizontally and allow an air channel to form on the top. And what that does is when you put your stopper in, you should just be able to push all of the air right out of there. And the syringe should have just epoxy with no bubbles. Oh yeah, that's what you want. And now we're ready to pop the penetrator. So for this step, I'm gonna be using a uh, vise and third hands as a makeshift jig. And we're going to be using that to hold the penetrator upright in the vise and hold the cable directly vertical out of it with the third hands. We'll start off by getting rid of any excess jacket or Teflon tape that might be left over from preparing the cable. Go ahead and cut any of that off, get it nice and clean. And you can insert the cable into the penetrator stopping when the edge of the jacket comes up to the edge of the penetrator. From there, we'll just pot the epoxy about halfway. Like so. From there, we can just twist the penetrator as we insert the jacket until the jacket bottoms out on the feature in the penetrator. Install that into your vise. And then use the third hands to hold the jacket vertically. Once you got that set up, we're just going to fill up the epoxy all the way to the top. If you jiggle the cable, you can actually get it to flow evenly around. 
And you can take your paper towel or cotton tip swab and just get rid of any excess that's on the outside. Just to make your penetrator look good. Nice. So now that you have your perfectly potted penetrator, all that's left is to cure the epoxy. Our wet link fixed tropic epoxy can cure in predominantly two different ways. If you have access to an oven, you can cure it for about two to three hours at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. If you don't wish to cure it ambiently at room temperature, it takes about 24 to 36 hours. You can check your, your curing by lightly prodding the surface of the epoxy with a cotton tip swab or any sort of little stick. And if it's gummy or if uh, the indent you create really doesn't really bounce back much, uh, you know you have a bit longer to wait. But if it immediately does bounce back to its original shape and everything and there's nothing tacky about the epoxy, then you know you're good to go. If you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on our forums. If you'd like more information, check out our docs page. Both can be found at bluerobotics.com. And now, you have everything you need. Go out in the world and make some stuff that doesn't leak. <laughs>